Welcome back. You know, it all started with a food blog and a passion for baking, but 13 years later, Joy Wilson, a.k.a. Joy the Baker, is now a cookbook and magazine author. She joins us now in studio with an indulgent yet approachable recipe she's known for that's going to be perfect for our Thanksgiving feast. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm a huge fan. I just told you I stalked your Instagram Thank multiple you. times. Judy, she just you. completed her first half marathon here in Houston. Who Congratulations. Knew? Thank you so much. I know you live in New Orleans. Okay, but the eight-year-old Joy, was it something that you, you, you know, sought out to be? Like, I'm going to be a baker? Uh, well... I, the loophole in my family were health food enthusiasts. Okay. The loophole in my family is if you could make it from scratch, you could eat it. So once I realized that loophole, I was like, I'm a baker now. And I started making brownies and cookies and like there was no stopping me. But, but you're self-taught, right? Yeah, I'm a self-taught baker. I've worked in kitchens, so I'm a professional baker now and I write cookbooks and magazines, so. Can you believe all of this kind of is going through? I well, mean. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right? the amount of butter that I keep in my fridge, I, I'm <laughs> supposed to be a baker. It's just who I am. I love it. And both of your parents are as well, right? My dad is a fantastic baker, and my mom's a really lovely cake decorator. Really awesome. Yeah. Okay, so I know y your stuff is so good. It's pretty to look at. Your your um, instructions to do it, very simple. I love the magazine as well. Um, but you say this is a really easy dessert that we can do? Yes. The, the non-bakers? Yes, you don't have to be a baker to make okay. this, though my work is to make everyone a baker. You don't have to be a baker to make this because it's part homemade, part store-bought. Ooh, so, outsourcing. Yes, we're I outsourcing. Love that. We're delegating. And so, trifles are so pretty. Yes. I mean, it's just so impressive on a table. And you can make them ahead of time. So a trifle is a layer of cake, pudding, and whipped cream. So the cake is store-bought. Super easy. Um, Store-bought pound cake. I, okay. I cubed some up here, but you can cube some pan some of this pound cake uh, okay. into like big bite-sized pieces. So I would normally put the cut this down the center and then go. Is that how you would you do, can do it? You can do that. Or? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Does There's, that seem weird? No, it doesn't seem weird. Okay. While you're making pound cake cubes, I'm going to do the homemade element, which is making a pudding. And a okay. pudding is pretty simple to make. You'll start with four eggs in a pan. Okay. We have some sugar and cornstarch. The eggs in the cornstarch will thicken the pudding. Okay. And I like making a pudding from scratch because you can flavor it however you want. Oh. So in this case, we're making pumpkin pudding and you can put in as much pumpkin pie spice as you'd like. You know, you can customize it to your yourself. Right. Okay, and so once I've got all of this cut, I basically just add this in here, Yeah, right? throw it in the bowl. Okay. And I'm going to start whisking together this pudding. Okay. And Whoa. you want it to get thick. I want it to get thick. That's the consistency that we're going for. Give that a stir. Okay. Um, and that is after it's been cooked and cooled a little bit. So okay. we want to cool it. You don't want to add it once it's, um, if it's too hot. Not really when it's too hot. Yeah, okay. you want to cool it. So I have some vanilla extract and a little bit of salt. And I'm going to stream in some whole milk okay. and add my pumpkin puree too. Mm. And that again, canned puree, right? Oh yeah, canned oh, thanks, puree. Girl. Okay. We do not need to be roasting <laughs> pumpkins in the oven when it's already been done for us. I love that. <laughs> okay. Also it tastes the same. Okay. Let's just be real. I love that. So it, this is a saves time. Right? We're saving time. We have like we get to gather again. So we have friends over, family. We're keeping it easy. So what I just put in this pot is pumpkin puree with a little bit of brown sugar and lots of pumpkin pie. Pie spice. Can you smell it? I can. I it know. smells so good. It's like it's really good for the soul. It's I I was telling you during the commercial break, pumpkin anything is my season. So yeah. I really I want this all year round. You can you can have it. You can make your own dreams come true. Right? You know. <laughs> <laughs> so this milk is a little bit warm. I'm going to add this, and essentially what I'm doing is bringing this to a really low simmer. Okay. And the simmer will allow the cornstarch to do the work of thickening, and will help the eggs thicken the pudding as well. And then here we go with the magic of TV yes. and cooling, yeah. this is what the final product looks like. Too easy, right? I love it. And it's like a pudding. It really is. It yeah. really is. We did it. We did. So Can now I, what? So let me show you how to assemble. Okay. It's super easy. It's just layers. So we'll start with a layer of pound cake. Do you want to throw that in there? Okay. All, the whole Maybe thing? Maybe half of it. Okay. Yeah. There okay. That's good. That's okay. great. Love it. And then I'll spoon on some pudding. Okay. And you'll and you be on make that a lay Oh, I'm on. You'll the be on whipped cream okay. duty. It's hard for me to not eat half of the whipped cream. So I always make extra because it's just so good. So I'll spoon in some of this 
pudding, and then you'll come right after me. Perfect. I'm going to let you keep layering. I want to let people know where you're going to be. Keep yeah. working because you're going to be at an event for a meet and greet. You can do this Saturday at 11:30 a.m. at Williams Sonoma in Highland Village. Okay, so now there's the event information. This is free, um, and I love that you're going to be there. That oh, is fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. on that. Thank you. Derek's coming in because while I'm putting in the final layer, again, Perfect. magic of television. We finished. We finished. And Derek is here to eat already. I couldn't help myself. I've been salivating all over <laughs> that side of the studio. How do you like my it work? Looks it looks great. <laughs> yeah. It looks great. Y'all did a great job. We did. Uh, you know what? Not bad. And thank you so much for coming mm. in. Yes. This is delicious. And not too sweet. Mm. Yeah, not too sweet. Home run. Yeah. Very, very I love nice. it. Thanks, thank you guys. Very good. For a link to secure the ticket for the meet and greet or for a complete recipe, visit our website, houstonlife.tv. Joy, thanks so much for coming Thank in. you, guys. And thanks for the dessert. Oh, you're welcome. We're going to try this at home. Very good one. <laughs> so good. All right, why don't we check back in with Lauren Kelly, who is getting into the holiday spirit.